Hi, I'm Stephanie, an applications engineer from Next Engine. This is the 3D Scanner HD, which is an affordable, high-performance digitizer that's easy to use. The scanner, in combination with our Next Engine Scan Studio HD software, enables you to create 3D mesh models, which can be imported into various Delcam software. As you can see, it's suitable for use on just about any desktop environment. It plugs in via standard power outlet and USB. This turntable is called the Auto Drive. It comes included standard with the scanner, and it allows for automation of much of the process. It rotates automatically, and the alignment will actually happen automatically as well. The multi-drive option is a dual-axis turntable that further automates the alignment of smaller parts by adding a tilt angle to the rotary. The software is available via download. You download it right to your desktop here. The process starts here with this green scan button. You hit the green scan button when you're ready to acquire your scan data. You can also align your data, which we'll get to in a bit. You can trim out data that you don't, you don't need. For example, the turntable may come into your field of view. And typically, the last step for any scanning process is the fuse, which is a merging of multiple single scans to create your full 3D model. There are three different types of scans that you can do, a 360-degree scan, a bracket scan, and a single scan. A 360-degree scan involves the turntable. The turntable will rotate to a number of positions and will take a scan at each position. You can specify how many different divisions in your 360 scan with this slider here. For example, if I have 10 divisions chosen, that will mean a 36 degree incrementation between each scan. The primary determinant of how many divisions we want per item is dependent on how undercut your part is. The more undercut the part is, the more scans you want. That way the scanner can see into any interior angles, holes, um, any areas that may be obstructed by other parts this soap angel here that I've used, for example, not too many undercuts you can get away with using less scans and therefore less divisions on this slider is more suitable. A bracket scan is similar to a 360 degree scan. Instead of going all the way around and doing a full 360, what it does is it does three consecutive angles in a row. Why that can be helpful, it's used for the tops and bottoms of objects. For example, I could do a 360 degree scan on this soap angel and still not have ideal angle uh, to the top of the soap angel and the bottom. So what the typical step, next step is, is to reposition the part and take a bracket on the top and a bracket on the bottom. And lastly, a single scan is just one scan of the face that's currently facing the scanner. So if I were to do a single scan, it would give us everything that we see here in this current position. The single scan is also used when the turntable is detached. By detaching the auto drive, we can use the scanner portably by mounting it to a tripod to digitize items out on the field or larger parts. We can scan this metal stamping by taking multiple single scans, ensuring that they have overlap between them, and utilizing the alignment function in the software to put all our scans together. The next option here is speed. There are three speeds that the scanner operates in. Uh, for most parts, standard speed is sufficient, which is about 90 seconds per single scan. Uh, with our HD Pro software add-on, that time is cut down to about 45 seconds. We do have the HD speed, which is a slower speed. The lasers are panning over at a slower rate, which can be helpful for smaller parts, parts with finer detail or fine edges. The scanner operates in up to three different ranges. In the macro mode, the part is between 5 to 9 inches away, and your field of view there is 5 inches by 4 inches. In the wide mode, the part is between 15 to 22 inches away from the face of the scanner, and your field of view there is 13 by 10. Lastly, if you have the HD Pro add-on, you have an extended wide mode, between 15 and 30 inches away from the face of the scanner, and your field of view there is 22 by 16 inches. You can also reposition your turntable from here, all right, once you're ready to start a scan, you hit the green start button. The fluorescent lights will come on first to actually capture a 2D image of the part, which will be mapped onto the 3D geometry. We now have a model, a full 3D model that we can rotate and visualize. You have four different ways to view your object. 
In the points mode, we can see just how many points we have here on our model. And we do have control over this density at any time. We can capture up to 40,000 points per square inch. In the triangle mode, we can see the triangulated version of our points. And we can actually see the surface detail on our soap angel. The shaded mode allows us to see a more 3D version of our part. And we also have the option of viewing the part in color. The next engine 3D Scanner HD is an affordable, high-performance digitizer that's easy to use.